Welcome to part two. So, all these movies are, of course, bangers. But number six is X-Men First Class. X-Men First Class, I think it's a fun movie. Um, the relationship between it, Charles Xavier and Magneto is a really cool um, element of this film. And, of course, Kevin Bacon does a great job. It, the only problem is that it doesn't use the first class enough. And, yeah. But still a great film. Number five is The Wolverine. The Wolverine is, I think, genuinely pretty good. I love this movie so much. Its only problem is the third act. The giant robot makes no sense. But this movie has some really cool action sequences in it. And it's worth a rewatch if you haven't seen it in a while. Uh, number five, or sorry, number four, is Deadpool 2. Deadpool 2, it's funny. Um, my only issue is that the death scene runs on a little too long. But, yeah, this movie's great, and it feels like an X-Men movie, which is surprising. Uh, number three is, of course, Deadpool 1. Um, film is great. It's hilarious. The only issue I think I have with the film is that... Ooh, it's not really coming to me offhand, but... Oh, um... I don't know. It... Oh, wait, no issue. Oh, my gosh, okay. That happened. And then... Uh, number two, and honestly, number one and number two could easily just be switched. Number two is Days of Future Past. I love this movie. It's pretty good. Um, the only issue with this film is I think the potential of a reboot g gets squandered. It, and what happens after this film just kind of doesn't live up to the hype. But no, this film is pretty good. It's good on its time travel, kind of. Um, it's a little loose, but it's good enough if it's time travel, and it's a fun, action-packed story that has some genuinely good moments. Logan is number one. Of course it is. Um, the noir cut is amazing uh, to look at. This has some gorgeous cinematography, cinematography in it. And yeah, my only issue is that, I don't know, it's a little too jury. Um, I think... Um, I don't need this movie to be energetically fun, but like that's why it's kind of an either a number one or a number two for me is that it, it could have been just a bit more not so depressing. But no, this film is great. It looks gorgeous. And Hugh Jackman and Patrick Stewart, I think, are giving the performances of their careers. And yeah, it's fun. And it's nice to imagine that those kids go on into Canada and run into the Alpha Flight team, which is sort of what a, like a producer said maybe happens after the film. But yeah, um, this movie, all these films are entertaining enough, I think, um, except for the one boring one. Uh, all these films are entertaining enough. Um, I love X-Men. I love the movies. I love the, uh, the, the TV shows. I've played a few games. And yeah, this is just a great um, franchise and is one of my favorite DC or one of my favorite superhero sort of like teams. Um, and Cyclops is my favorite X-Men character. Um, and yeah, I do wish that I was able to review each and every one of these films this month. But ultimately, I don't know. I just needed a mental health break. And I did the videos that I'm happy with, videos that I'm proud of. And I'm proud of this video. Remember that God made you special. He loves you very much. I would love to hear your favorite X-Men movie. I would love to hear your ranking. As always, God bless and have a nice day.